getting the runaround, and all he wanted to do was avoid getting arrested. I'm worried that the police are going to show up and put me in jail. No. That Tarrant County man was sued over thousands of dollars in back taxes that he didn't even owe. When he couldn't get any answers, he called our Kristen Severance to get a little consumer justice. Kristen, good evening. I know you uncovered an issue that could affect not only him, but thousands of businesses locally. Yeah, tens of thousands of businesses. This all started with us asking why Wade Bandy was getting sued over not paying those business personal property taxes and ended with us asking how any business in Tarrant County knows that they are being appraised correctly. I had the opportunity to open a business for myself, and I took it. That garage door repair business run out of this old truck is everything to Wade Bandy. But a big bill from Tarrant County threatened all of it. It's a game-changing amount. You know, do I close the business? Do I say, that's it, I'm done, they finally got me? Bandy owed more than $2,000 in back taxes. How can I owe all that money? For taxes on a building I wasn't in. Bandy was being sued for not paying business personal property taxes on a storefront from 2015 to 2016, even though he had moved in 2014. He called the Tarrant Appraisal District or TAD. I asked him, I said, then how did you come to the amount that you're charging me? Well, we based it on like businesses in the area. TAD told Consumer Justice they have 16 appraisers to handle the nearly 50,000 businesses in Tarrant County, and they can't field verify every business every year. So they rely on businesses to fill out a rendition, a form that provides information about the property. However, only 50% of businesses in the county fill out those forms. Bandy didn't. How many of those are being unjustly taxed for the wrong amounts and threatened with court, you know, and everything else. He thought he'd plead his case to a judge. The notice from the law firm said he had to appear at or before 10 o'clock of the Monday next after the expiration of 20 days from the date of service of the citation. Adam. <laughs> He thought he figured out the right date and went to court. We were there. Hopefully justice ain't blind. The clerk had no idea what Bandy was talking about. He said, you're not supposed to be here. According to that citation, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be and when I'm supposed to be here. But the clerk says, I need to call this attorney's office. So we called. Yes, ma'am. My name is Wade Bandy. And was transferred. My name is Wade Bandy. Put on hold. I'm on hold for the third person. Transferred. Oh. Okay, I have. I, so now you're telling me that I need to call the Tarrant Appraisal District. He got nowhere. Here's a law firm that doesn't even know what courtroom to send you to, and yet they represent the Tarrant Appraisal District. So we contacted Tad's chief appraiser, Jeff Law. Law, who would only communicate with us through email, told us Bandy was assessed incorrectly and they would work to get it fixed. But Law also placed some of the blame on Bandy. We caught up with Law after a public meeting. Mr. Bandy didn't file the rendition forms that the state law required him to. According to you, half the businesses don't fill out that rendition form. Mm -hmm. So how do half of those businesses know that they're going to be appraised correctly? We prefer that we, you know, we get an email from you and then we respond via email. The answer to your question is in that email that I sent. I'm not a tax professional. I can't sit there and, and read your, uh, your email word for word on TV. You're the chief appraiser. You know the information. You're familiar with this case. How do they know that they are being appraised we send, correctly? We send them a, an appraisal notice in the spring, and then if they review that appraisal notice, if they feel like the value is incorrect, they go. They can go then go through the protest process. But Bandy never got the notice. After months of this back and forth, Ray Bandy finally has some answers. And I owe it to you guys. An appraiser came to his home and reduced his assessment by 90 percent. You saved my business. I mean, that's the bottom line. So those rendition forms go out this month. It is state law to fill them out and send them back to TAD. And really the only way to control, you know, how your property is assessed. Yeah, so an inaccurate assessment would be one thing, but what's, is there a penalty if you don't fill that thing out and get it back? Yeah, there is. Uh, you, uh, your, if your business does not turn in a rendition on time, a 10% pen penalty will be added to the owner's tax bill for the current year. Renditions are due back to TAD by April 1st. Pays to eyeball your, your mail and make sure you get it done. Right? Absolutely. And if you get a wrong one, just give me a call. Well, yeah, and then you can help decipher that. That long letter. Thank yeah. You, Kristen. Thank you.